Hey everyone, Matt here and welcome to another Biographic, the series in which I look at the highs and lows of the Game Boy Library. This week is actually a Japanese exclusive, the first that we featured here on this channel. It's Volley Fire. As Japanese Game Boy games go, Volley Fire isn't one that's really on anyone's radar. And if you saw this game on the shelves of Super Potato, or as a loose cart in a flea market, you'd be sure that you were on to a shoot 'em up thrill ride completely unpopularized in the West, and that this was gaming gold. Purely because the game has one of the greatest looking boxes on the entire system. However, what you'd realise in putting the game into your Game Boy was that you should never judge a Game Boy game by its cover. The game is Space Invader-esque in its design. You control a ship that is at a fixed point on the bottom screen and can only move across the horizontal axis, while above you is some debris and beyond that an enemy ship. Your goal is to kill your opponent by firing several well-placed shots through the moving space junk and hitting that ship. Only, the middle of the screen is often blocked by various obstacles and two shots crossing paths cancel each other out. So it's easy to see why this game can become pretty tedious pretty quickly. The main source of attack is to creep slightly over the edge of an obstacle and hit the very end of the enemy ship's collision detection. But you don't have to deplete the enemy's health bar once, but three goddamn times! Suffice to say, it becomes a little bit of a chore, so the boss fights feel more lazy than epic. There are a few little things thrown into the game, such as power-ups, which increase the strength of your laser, some extra health, and occasionally one-ups, which seem kind of pointless, as not only does the game have unlimited continues, but you don't even have to start at the start of the world when you continue. You can go straight on from where you left off with full lives and full health. In terms of mixing up gameplay, there are various extra enemies that are throwing things to spice things up, Mirrored surfaces that reflect your blasts and hell, some stages even move around, making the game at least feel like a shoot em up in spirit. Though if someone is willing to travel back in time and tell toy animation that nobody likes flying backwards in shumps, that'd be great. Also while you're at it, tell them they like dick like rocks that poke you from behind and one shot kill you. Once it's all said and done, and you've battled your way through the game's seven worlds, you finally come face to face with the boss rush and to be congratulated for your efforts. This is the point where you should take out your phone and take a screenshot, because if you take this to future job interviews as a means of showing how well suited you are to completing tedious and repetitive tasks, you're gonna get the job, because that's all this game is, one long slog. While the game's sprites look nice, its music is actually well above par and perhaps even wasted on this game's tedium, as unfortunately, Volley Fire is just not that fun. It's part Space Invaders, part Pong almost, as unlike the kind of shots you'd like to fire, the titular volley is more akin to tennis than the arcade shooter you may have expected when purchasing it. Though, I do feel bad, as the game isn't horribly made, and it just shows that a lot of love went into trying to make a space game that's interesting and enjoyable experience. But I can't help but feel that somewhere down the line someone should have said, I know we're trying something new here, but this game just isn't that fun to play. Volleyfire does however support a two player function, which I can imagine would be quite fun, but much like the game itself, I'd imagine that that fun would be quite short lived. Volley Fire is, all in all, a bit of a letdown. In trying something new, it fell into tired gameplay mechanics and a repetitive formula that will see more sane gamers turning the game off after a couple of minutes. The experience never becomes more enjoyable, even if it is an audio and visual delight for the most part. Steer clear if you're not a hardcore collector, or maybe even save yourself the cash and just emulate it. I guarantee, even at the game's affordable price, you will never feel like you've got your money's worth unless the game's complete in box, which will only allow you to stare on with glowing eyes about what could have been if Toy had just made a straight up shooter. And that's it for this week's biographic, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have enjoyed. 
Let me know in the comments down below if you've played Volley Fire yourself and what you think about it. You can also let me know on Twitter at GameBoil what you think about it too. Um, if you like this video, please share it around and why not check out some of our other videos? We've done quite a few biographics now. We have a few Boy Curious videos in which I look at the oddities in the Game Boy Library and I promise for those of you who enjoy the Boy Curious videos, there will be more along soon. And also, all the glory in which I complete a game and it's got all the deaths cut out so you can just see the game in its entirety with no faffing around. Until next time guys, game on!